Hello YouTubers! This video deals with classical mechanics problems where at once is more than one variable that defines the result. This is most common and easy, but just a reminder that one variable ph physics problem can be very complex. For example, rocket liftoff velocity is just in one axis direction. It is one variable problem from the time t variable. Express a one-dimensional physics problem as a mathematical set related to the y-axis coordinate. y-axis coordinate changes from time t, and at any given moment t, x-axis and z-axis are constant values and are independent of time t variable change. I skip two-dimensional physics problem for a reason, because it will be the main goal of this video. I will tell you how I found multivariable physics and multivariable calculus. Here we have a Navier-Stokes differential equation of fluid stream acceleration. Upside down delta Greek letter is called Laplace operator and for velocity gradient it is three-dimensional problem. Same for pressure gradient. We do not study the Navier-Stokes equation in, de in detail, but we see that velocity gradient of a fluid flow and pressure gradient of fluid flow is multivariable physics problem, where at any moment t, molecule of fluid change coordinate and moves in zigzag tra trajectory based on, on non-stop chaotic Brownian motion of fluid molecules in three dimensions, x, y, and z. One of the solution to solve multivariable fluid motion in three dimension from time variable is to apply probability, aka st statistical mechanics, to random Brown Brownian motion and rid of viscosity physics constant, which is the biggest issue with the Navier stock equation, in my opinion. But in the general, equation is right and it shows that fluid mechanics is the multivariable or three-dimensional physics problem. But to reduce the such problem, in the next video chapter we introduce an extra combining variable, let's say k, which will combine all multivariables in one bundle. Later we see that such a reduction will be very important and necessary. It gives the ability to simplify multivariable physics problems. Before starting to solve numerical examples, we show examples and theory behind multivariable in two dimensions. Multivariable means that are two variables that change from one independent variable. I will call it driving variable. First is a famous projectile trajectory in the Cartesian XY coordinates system. Here we have a very unique case where uh, the driver variable can be three different can can be three different variants. The main driver variable is the initial angle of a projectile should shooting in the, into open space. But the other two are also valid ways to solve trajectory curves from time t and maximum height h. They are not very convenient, but valid. Our focus in this example is one the angle variable, which is which is the the initial set, as we know from math, x axis is related to cosine function, and y axis are is related to sine trigonometric function. Thus, change of x and y coordinates which defines multivariable physics from is driven by angle change and tangent which is ratio of sine and cosine function is a subset function that is also very useful it combining it is combining term of x and y coordinates into one bundle and now most important rules of all of all two dimensional multivariable physics problems are all two-dimensional all two physics problems are described by two variables. 
one of two variables is scalar the second is driver which also sustains energy conservation law condition that is most important velocity is observable observable value is scalar which is in the case of trigonometric function sit in front of, of trigonometric or exponential functions also driver variables can have negative connotations for example in fluid mechanics it can be an exponential decaying trend which is also a non-dimensional term same as the angle term k is non-dimensional flow stopper term which sustains energy conservation law condition and maximum initial fluid flow is a scal scalar term all two-dimensional physics problems are described by two variables. It is a scientific conjecture based on the frequently repeating pattern, but it has no rigid proof that is always the valid pattern. It can have an exclusion example where such a pattern is broken. The next famous two-dimensional physics problem is the pendulum swing motion time t solution. Here t is a quarter of a swing. Scalar is the length of a pendulum, and driver is the initial angle of a pendulum. Swing physics problem is two-dimension problem because in process of derivation it has better Euler's trigonometric equation from x, y variables. I recommend people who want who want go to study quantum mechan mechanics. Before that, we must try to derive the time equation for pendulum. If we don't like this cerebral very deep map derivation, quantum mechanics is not for you. Because the derivation of pendulum motion is math deep, but it does not contain weirdness of imaginary numbers, which are a lot in quantum mechanics math, math equations. To me, it's one of the nicest physics derivations. A more examples the hardest from math that i have done done related to two dimension multivariable problems uh, was the hyperbolic cosine catenary figure chain which gained its shape from the gravity of earth to a very flexible chain string rope or rope catenary came from a latin word which means chain where from angle of attack of constant length chain s equals 200 millimeters curve changes its shapes at x y coordinate system This physics problem is more complicated and requires a, mo a more basic understanding to fully explain catenary shape change from variable variables. This is more mathematics than physics problem. Before solving the numerical solution of a multivariable physics problems, we need to establish what is the difference between one variable and compared to multivariable, in our case two variables physics problem. If we have one variable math equation that solves some kind of physics problems, for example, in one dimension case, coefficients a, b, c, d does not cha change x variable range. Contrary to multivariable solution, and in, and in our case, two dimensional variables some external angle of attack or arbitrary constant of coefficient changes the range of x and y coordinates 
every time we change a constant c, x and y range of, of coordinates will be different. That is one of the properties of multivariable physics and multivariable math calculus problems. It's like a dog chasing a cat and at the same time cat chasing mice. If the dog increases the pace, cat also increases the pace, and consequence of, the, of that is that at x axis, which represents mice, also must increase the pace. We want to solve the shape of a of roller coaster under such conditions that everywhere on the roller coaster loop track, that centripetal force will maintain a constant acceleration value. The initial assumption is that the shape of a roller coaster track is a circle loop. The centripetal acceleration equation is product, product of non-dimensional constant C and free fall acceleration value result gives, gives out needed constant centripetal value, which is a driving force and defines loop curve shape. And H index zero is a scalar term. The velocity of carriage or ball in the loop is a function of height y. Constant centripetal acceleration is equal to. From the last equation, we express radius change from height y variable change. From calculus, we know that radius of arc change depends on small angle change. We get such differential equation of arc radius. Rearrange term, terms accordingly and integrate the left side from arc length ds and the right side from arc angle change d theta. But such integration operation is invalid. The y term is not constant term and cannot be moved in front of an integral sign. We see that at every y coordinate point, ball is at different height location. To solve a such problem, we can apply Pythagoras theorem in differential form to loop arc segment. From trigonometry, we know such sine and cosine function relations. Thus, equation system of differential equation is equal to the equation system have, has three equations and four unknown variables. To reduce further unknown variables, we assume that le length ds equal delta s equal 0 0.1 meters and is constant value. Arc length delta s must be as small as possible to get a smooth curve. In such case, we get an equation system based on Euler's method to solve various math and physics problems. And finally, the constant acceleration curve under two variable condition looks like that. We see that it is a multivariable physics problem of a of coordinate change from two variables, maximum height h index 0 and uh, the acceleration constant c. Under, under the condition of constant maximum drop height h index 0 equals constant value, but variable acceleration constant value c equation system generates different maximum height and maximum distance values. That is uh, the essence of a two-dimensional multivariable physics problem, where two variables are required to define the result. Such constant acceleration roller coaster track exists mainly not for fun, but to reduce whiplash injuries to the neck in case of various acceleration roller coaster loop design curves. That is all folks, thanks for watching, please subscribe.